Hello, hello everyone. I said I would do it. And those of you who've been watching my channel know to believe me when I say I'm gonna do a thing. Here's Hikari Monos CV. And it's connected to the modular. And it's controlling this patch. I'm taking the output from the Monos. It's going through Bastel Dynamo. Where I have the comparator threshold set really high. And every time the signal crosses that threshold, it outputs a gate. Those gates are going into the NLC divide and conquer, which is counting them and outputting divisions to distribute to the rest of the patch. The fastest one right here, divided by two, is clocking NLC 8 bit cipher, which is receiving one of these LFOs as its data input and is providing the modulation for the rest of the patch. Divided by three right here is triggering streams, just receiving output from the Blue Lantern DCO, which is receiving pitch CV attenuated from the 8-bit cipher. Let's see, this one right here, divided by four, is triggering two HP hat. The next one, divided by eight, it's going over here into the input of the FACO Rampage, side B. Not the trigger in, but the signal in. So I'm basically using it as a slew, or it would be in a it would be an AR envelope based on that gate. And that envelope is controlling one of these passive low-pass gates from Mangxi, which is receiving output from Platts. And Platts, volts per octave CV, is an attenuated and slewed CV output from the 8-bit Cypher. Cypher's other two CV outs are going back over here to the Monos and controlling the noise pitch and the filter frequency. Divided by five is triggering the closed trigger on hat and a divide by 16 is triggering the open trigger on hat. And I've got T-Kick being kicked by one of Cypher's gate outputs because they come kind of slower than these do. I am also using Cypher's gate outputs. Two of them I'm attenuating with this homemade uh, box O attenuators. And I'm using them to gate the left and the right VCAs here in the cluster for the Monos signal. And I'm also using that trick on the DCO. So those two sounds will pop left, right, and center depending on which combination of those gates are turned on. I think that's everything except, oh yes, and uh, I've got my left and my right outputs down here at the bottom. And then the next row up is a separate mix for my effect send, which is going through the Pico DSP for some reverb and mixed together in this homemade passive mixer. And that's all of it. I'm not using anything in this case. Let me set the camera down, line up a nice pretty shot there, turn it up and listen.
I thought this was kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys noticed when I move this slider, changes the output wave shape from square to sine, and the sine wave output tickles the dynamo comparator slightly differently, and it causes there to be fewer gates. And so the whole patch gets a little less busy just from that one adjustment. I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, I've had loads of fun with these noise devices, but I feel like next I should make something that sounds a little bit more like music. So yeah, you guys have that to look forward to next time. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.